Let's talk about a phase shifter. Now I wanted to plot these uh, Le Chazou patterns on my oscilloscope, and in order to do that, I needed a, a phase shifter. So, you know, there's a, a lot of these online that you can find. I, I picked this out. I I have uh, I used an LM741 just because I had one. I'm using 1K resistors here. Uh, I don't need any gain on here. I'm using a 5K uh, input here off my single generator. And this is a 0.33 microfarad capacitor. So for this resistance here in series with this, I have my 5K to find the um, capacitive reactance of this. We just use that old formula. And that comes out to about uh, 96 ohms on there of capacitive reactance. If we divide that by resistance of 96, that's going to be 1. Arctangent of 1 is going to be equal to 45 degrees. So with 100 ohms or so on here, I should be able to get a pattern of 45 degrees. Uh, there might be some other things in there that we have to take into account, but this 1K uh, pot here should, uh, should work. Now, what we do need, though, is we need to have a... a a voltage rail here. We need positive and negative voltage on here. Uh, these LM741s uh, will work with just a uh, positive here and a, and a ground here. Um, like on my, my power supply just has a positive and negative, but the negative is just ground. But the output won't go below negative. It'll just be all positive. So you won't get a, a sine wave out of it. So you need to have a positive and negative rail. I didn't have one, so I made one out of a uh, couple 9 volt batteries just in series. So we've got uh, positive here goes to 7, and the negative here goes to, to 4. You don't need this in here if you don't want. And the center tap of that is, is our ground, goes to, to ground here. And this, this seems to work fine. Now, a little trick with these LM741s you can do. If you don't have a, two batteries, or you, you your power supply is like mine, doesn't have a... Uh, negative rail on it then if you just take this four and let it float don't put anything on it you can still get the patterns out of this okay so now we're going to uh, we're going to probe this we're going to probe put one oscilloscope probe on on six to ground and one on over here right off of the uh, generator to ground okay so we'll get hopefully we'll get a phase angle difference between the uh, the input here and the output over here okay depending on how much resistance we put across this uh, capacitor here we'll see if we can get these patterns here so we're going to switch over to the oscilloscope and uh, see what happens all right here we are at the oscilloscope we've got the uh, the sine waves up on the scope here they're about 90 degrees out of phase with each other and to test that we can we can go to this xy function here so turn that on and we have a circle Cir perfect circle should be about 90 degrees and going this way uh, that's uh, should be about 45 degrees this was going to be uh, zero degrees and going the other direction that would be about 135 degrees and then if we can get a straight line the other way that would be 180 i don't know if i can get to 180 no nope. not going to get all the way up to 180 with this setup well, let's go back to, to 90 degrees. Now, I said on this LM731 that we could leave that uh, pin 4 floating and we'd still get the same, we could get the pattern. Okay, so I, I pulled that off of there and uh, I'm going to put that into, into ground. Okay, so obviously a little different, but I put that into ground. And let's see. There we go. So let's see what we can get. Well, we can get. So I'm just have that pin pin four floating there. Let's see what it looks like. Um, yeah, not not bad. So I just have my power and the and the ground rail, and uh, I've got pin four floating. So on this LM741, it's it seems to work all right.
anyway that's uh that's the uh, my phase shifter here and we'll go back to the xy pattern and there we are so that's it thank you